Happy Opus Day. Now, today's actually Labor Day when I'm filming this. You may be watching this later, but here's the point. There are two words for work in Latin. One word is labor, which is labor, and it means toil. Toil, hard labor. That's what most people are doing in their work on a daily basis. The other word for work in Latin is opus, and opus means masterpiece. I get all this concept from my buddy Chet Scott of Built to Lead, and Chet has spent the better part of his life clarifying and helping people discover what their opus is. And this is exactly what Chet did for me 17 years ago. Can you believe it? All of this is built around this quote by L.P. Jacks. And the quote goes, a master in the art of living draws no sharp distinction between their work and their play, their labor and their leisure, their mind and their body, their education and their recreation. They hardly know which is which. They simply pursue their vision of excellence and leave others to determine whether they're working or playing to themselves. They always appear to be doing both. And that is a quote that has shifted my life because the first time I read it, I said, I want that. I want there to be no sharp distinction between my work and play, between my labor and my leisure. And as a result, when I heard that quote 17 years ago, Chet Scott was the one to teach me it. And I said, there's no way my life even looks remotely close to that. In fact, for the next few years, things got worse before they got better. I began to look at my life and I began to lean in and say, there's areas of my life that are massively divided. In fact, this is the bulk of the population today. Most people believe in trading five of their days for two of their days. In other words, their work week for their weekend. This is where most people live. In other words, I have to go to work. I get to enjoy time off. And there's this massive division for most people. In fact, 86% of the population right now wishes they were in another job. And that's sad because that's where most people spend their time throughout the day and the week and the life. And so there's this compartmentalized view of life for most individuals. And therefore, once a year on Labor Day, they're excited because they say, you know what, I deserve this day, this Labor Day, because I've toiled so hard all year long. But what if it was the opposite? What if every single day was Opus Day? Seriously, it might sound a little cheesy, but not the meaning. The meaning is that what if you actually lived every life, every day of your life, instead of toiling, you lived it authoring your Opus, living out your masterpiece? Wouldn't that be something special? Wouldn't that be the type of living that Ferdinand Foch says that the most powerful weapon on earth is the human soul on fire. You can only be a soul on fire when you have no division between work and play. When who you are is who you are all the time. When you live that type of life, you fight against the resistance of what Swiss psychologist Carl Jung said. He said that the most damaging thing in the life of a child was the unlived life of the parent. The parent who lived a life of toil, who labored. Look, you might say, well, gee, Carrie, is that even possible? Is it possible to author your opus? Is it possible to live a life worth living? Is it possible? Sure, it's possible. It takes some closing of the gaps. It sure did for me. There were deep gaps in my life and I had to close those gaps. And that's what we're doing at this year's Igniting Souls conference in 2018. Maybe you're watching this and it already happened, but maybe if it hasn't, you say, you know what? I need to close those gaps. 
This is Kerry Oberbrunner. Be a soul on fire today and every day. Be somebody who authors your opus. Be somebody who chooses instead of living a life of labor, living a life of opus. I believe in you and I believe your message is worth it. Talk to you soon.